Saler. Time to go to school. Remember the last time you kept your toys when I told you to? That was so good. It really made me happy. Remember? That's the way. Good job. Okay. Hi, Matthew. Morning, Ella. You look chubby. That means you must know that... Yes, I know. I know you're flying back today. Yes, she is. And the wedding is just a... Spare me the wedding countdown, Ella. Matthew, I'm just... I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not going to do anything about you. So you're just going to let her fixate on marrying Shen? You're going to let her humiliate herself? Ella, it's her life. And I'm going to respect her wishes and stay out of her life. Exactly like I promised her. Lori, what's that for? Uh, Ma'am Yoke wants me to send these to the office. She's not coming home from the airport first? No, sir. Going straight to the office. What's wrong with that girl? Don't know, sir. And then you have tea with Tan Sri Tan and his wife. Got it. Is Yoke in? I haven't seen her yet. But she'll be any time soon. Her plane touched down an hour ago. Are you going to bring up the wedding? I don't know if it's a good idea. Last time I tried to intervene, Dad gate crashed and messed it all up, but... <clears throat> Yo! Good morning. I'll leave you two. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. So, you wanted to talk about my presentation deck? Yes. Um, I wanted to uh, confirm those figures are right. You couldn't verify this over the phone? Why don't you be honest and tell me the real reason why I'm here? If I did, would you be here? No. That's why I didn't. Whatever it is, I don't want to hear it. Yo, can we... Well, the only thing I want to know is... I haven't heard back from Emily about being my maid of honor. Could I at least get the courtesy of a reply? Please remind her. Yo, I asked her not to do it. Fine. I thought as much. Yo, if you were marrying anybody else, I would tell Emily... But I'm not. So it's a moot point. If there's nothing else... Work. Glad to know Zara settling in well. Has she mentioned coming home at all? No. Why don't you call her? I think we're the last people she wants to hear from right now. Anyway, thanks for putting Zara up at your place. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll see you. Bye, Auntie Miwan. Bye bye. Ibu, aren't you going to the restaurant? Later. I want to talk to Miwan. Miwan. When are you going to talk to Zara to stop her nonsense and go home? Aya, Zara is a big girl. She can make her own decision. You should respect her and give her some space. Respect her? Where's her respect for me? Ibu, let's not create a scene here. What happened? I need Athena is crazy. Handsome. Sarah says so. Don't listen to him. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Ella? No, she hasn't been coming here. She must be super busy with her job at KSUH. Can you call Ella? Ask her if she's free to come here for dinner tonight. You want to find out about Yoke from Ella, is it? No la. Yoke won't want me to catch out. Anyway, I also don't want to disturb. It's not important. Can you call Ella? It would be good if she can come tonight. For what? I told you yesterday already. <laughs> for what? I did give Matthew a nudge to go after Yoke, but I can't make him if he doesn't want to. Maybe it's a little too soon to bring them together. Maybe we should just do nothing till Yoke is ready. Well, Cupid, we'll never know when she'll be ready. I say we come clean with Matthew. No, 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 no. Shen will kill me if I tell Matthew about our DID. But if Shen wants to bring Matthew and Yoke together, why not? It will get Matthew to understand why Yoke feels obliged to stay with Shen, and that the one she really loves is him. I understand that, but... Shun is very touchy about this. All these years that we kept this secret, I can't violate that. Come on, Yang. I gotta go. Hey, is the residence schedule out yet? I forgot. Sorry, I don't mean to rush you, but the residents are asking about it. I know. It's just... I don't know how to go about doing it. And Shun is too depressed to work. 
Is he still seeing his therapist? Should be. Maybe. You don't know? There are things I know and things I don't know, okay? It depends. Maybe Shen should take a break from work since it's so stressful. Or quit. Hell no. Without Yo, this job is keeping him going. He isn't around. He'll never quit. He won't. But you can. And you should. Because try as hard as you want. You don't know what to do on his behalf. I know it's a personal matter. But if any patient is at risk, I will have to report Shen's DID. Send me the draft when you're done. I thought you said to wait for content clearance first. Right, wait for my green light. I did say that. Everything okay with Khalid? Seems all right. Especially now we have an idea of what's going on. But I can't help feeling inadequate handling him. It takes time. You'll get better at it. It's not that, it's just... I don't know if I can recognize the abnormal behavioral traits in Khalid. Because he and I, we're so alike. <laughs> well, he's your son. Of course, there's similar traits. But mothers know best. Trust your instincts. What I'm going to say stays here, OK? OK. When I look back at my relationship with Zarin, I realized I never really loved him. He was a means to an end. To be honest, I'm in at relationships. My social life is non-existent. I have zero friends. Hello. You're a colleague. And Kenneth? Same. You call it friendship. But really, it's just an obligatory interaction at the office. Given ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't even be talking to you or Kenneth. And now you're hurt, even though I'm just being honest. Well, if this is just an obligatory interaction, why didn't you confide to me about Zarin? Princess Ella, taking your own sweet time to call back. What do you want? You saw my message. You better come down to the shop. What for? To see your friend, Debbie. She's out? Yeah. Ma has gone to pick her up from prison. So you're coming? Maybe. I'm busy. Debbie! Hello, boss! Hi. Huh. Are you okay? I'm okay. Hey! Mini! Nice lah. Look at me. How to be many? Let me come only one. Same way, it's good to see you. Okay. Hey. Oh, nice watch, ah. Business so good, ah. Okay, only. Yoke's still insisting there's a wedding. Now she won't even talk to the family. I'm not surprised. Jessica has so little control over her family affairs. Even Celia never had so much trouble when she was married to Derek. So what are you going to do about Yop? Nothing. James is back at Shelley Holdings. Anything that distracts Yop from the company is fine by me. But I'm surprised at your reticence. You're not going to do anything? I promise Yuk to keep out of her life. Even when she's heading for disaster? If that's what she wants. But I'll be there for her when she needs me. What's wrong? Sir, sir, are you okay? I'm okay. Can you walk? Yes, I can. I don't think you can. I'm all right. You look like you need to go to the hospital. Matthew? Yeah, okay. I'll drive him there. Bought me something. Yes. Why are you looking at it like that? 
Because you never buy me anything? What do you mean I never buy? You're right. I've never bought you anything. But there's always a first time for everything. And if you don't take it now and say thank you, it's the last time. Thank you. Oh, it's just what I need. Hands off. It's Joseph's. Aren't you on the keto diet? <laughs> yes. He's not going to eat it. You're not going to eat it? No. Great. Come to daddy. Sorry. I didn't know you were on a keto diet. Why would you know? We're just colleagues. But if it's any consolation, they are my favorite donuts. Who are you swiping right for? Not swiping anymore. I'm over dating apps. Uh huh. I regret letting my personal life affect my professional life. The lines got blurred and I compromised my work ethics. Never again. Well, if it's any consolation, at least you're holding up much better than Dr. Shin. He seems so... out of it. It's on me. Thanks. So, you're not angry with me anymore? It's been months. Shall we just let bygones be bygones? Sounds good to me. So, what are you going to do now? I'm going to start work at Boss Lady. Part time. Seriously? Why not? Better than whatever I was doing. Even you. You are working in KSUH now. Yep, I took up your advice and quit sugaring. So, Shen doesn't want to marry Yoke anymore? Shen and I are ancient history, if that's what you're wondering. You've really moved on? Yes. In fact, Yoke and I have gotten closer recently. I'm helping her with a breakup with Shen. Hey, Nina. Shira. Hey, you got my text? Right. I've been busy, sorry. Wanna catch a movie later? I can get the tickets. I can't. Why not? I'm taking Khalid to the playground. At night? Yeah. It's an indoor thing. Oh. Can I come? I'm kind of bored at home. Um, it's all kids and mothers. You'll be bored. I don't mind. Nina, it's really not a good idea. Oh. All right, how about tomorrow then? You know what? I think I'm going to be busy for a while. All right. I guess I better not disturb you then. Yeah, bye. How come Shira can't work from home like you do? What's that? I think she was blowing me off. Why? Why would you say that? Didn't you hear what she just said? <laughs> Great. I've got no one to hang out with now. Nina, you gotta reach out and make friends. Okay? No one's gonna talk to you if you sit in a corner and sulk. I don't sulk. Oh. Of course you don't sulk. I'm feeling better already. I still think you should see a doctor. Just now you were completely pale. Thank you. I think I'll be oh, oh. Sir. Sir. Nurse! Nurse! Shut, 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 shut. Sir, can you stand? Want to tell what's your pain level? Nurse is pulse level. Irregular. One, two, three. Get out of here. Please stand for a full blood count, renal panel, type screen, and serum lactate set. Yes, Dr. Mike.
Sarah, it's been a crazy day. How's your trip? Good. No nagging chalice. No, thanks. I sent Shen a couple of emails while I was away about the wedding arrangements. No reply, of course. I'm sorry. I guess I was just hoping. Just a word, just something. I tried to get Shen to change his mind through Yang, but... Yang is no help. It's Shen who wants this to be over. So you're accepting that the wedding isn't happening? Shen doesn't believe that I love him. And that's why he ran away. I need to prove to him that I do. I'll wait for him at our wedding. Thank you. Thanks. How long do you want me to stall her? You know what? Just tell Yoke you're not going to be her maid of honor. I feel bad leaving her in a lurch. Uh, Shen already did that. Look, we shouldn't be indulging her self-denial. Yeah. Where's you? How would I know? You had a meeting with her. Uh, yeah, this morning. Then why is she not home yet? Has she left the office? I don't know. What good are you for? Look, I'm not her babysitter. Is this how you talk to me? Yeah, if you keep talking down to me. You want to tell me what's going on? None of your business. Should have stayed. Why didn't you help the patient? He was already getting help. You were there before everybody else. I'm in management. You don't expect me to jump in and do chest compressions, right? Not as if I can't, but why add confusion to an already chaotic situation? The other doctors already had it under control. You guys want an office too. She also has the origami you gave her. Where have you been? Hi. Thanks for coming over. You're Shen? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Sure. Anything for you. Take this to you. What's this? Something I should have returned a long time ago. I think it's been giving Yoke some false hope. Okay, so where have you been? Are you better now? I'd rather not talk about it. Take this to you, okay? And I thought you have let go of that girl. I have. But it's Shen now. There's just something off about him cancelling the wedding. Stay out of that mess. How many times have I told you? Just stay away from the Shelleys. She didn't say anything when Eunice Shelley became my godma. Well, that's because she's an ex Shelley. Please, walk away. Just, just walk away. Shira? I thought you said you're bringing Khaled to the indoor playground. I, uh... I had some change of plans. Are you avoiding me? No. 
did I offend you in any way? Because if I did, you can tell me. I'm sorry, I Look, didn't... Look, Nina, I don't know how to put this, but you're just a teenager. And frankly, talking to you is kind of boring. Well, it's boring to talk to you too, Auntie Shira. What else can I do? You told me to get through the yoke by getting along with Jessica. That's what I've done. No effect. You know why? Because she's not at home to see us get along. So much for your advice. Ayah, at the end of the day, uh, Yoke must want to talk to you. It's also, also no use. So I have to sit around and wait till Her Majesty decides she's in the mood? Yeah. And how am I going to stop her from embarrassing herself at this hopeless wedding? Maybe you can't. Can't? I don't like that answer. Don't like also must lie. She's old enough to make her own mistake and learn from them. 